What's going on, my comrades? It's your boy, coach of your Carolina Mask Brains, Frank and the Furies, back at it again with week five team builder versus the San Francisco Celebi, coached by Firemaster MT. We uh, had a close, close game last week. Very close. Uh, could have played a little bit better, but we got the win. We pocketed it, so that's nice. We are now up to 3-1, and one, and hopefully after week 5, we can add to it and make this team go up by 4-1. and one. That would be really nice. Uh, the matchup this week, a little bit of a threat, but before I get into that, uh, we made a trade, or not trade, we made a free agent acquisition. Off screen, uh, good old Ricky, the... Um, Zangus will not be joining us for the rest of the season as he has been dropped for Licky Licky, who does not yet have a name. So I'll figure something out for him. But yeah, we got Licky Licky now, and that's really nice. It gives us Wish for Agron. It gives us, um, I mean, it's a normal type. It has insane coverage. It's pretty bulky. That's really nice. Uh, but yeah, it's, I, I opted more for that because, um, the, the, my, my main issue with Zangoose is just it was super frail and its speed tier just doesn't quite hit what you want it to hit. So maybe it, it, it could live one non super effective hit, but it, with toxic boost, it kind of needs to be toxic, which means chipping its HP. So yeah, that's that's kind of Zangoose's problem. But Licky Licky, I think, is going to be a fine addition to our collection. But this team against the, uh, with this new team, well, with Licky Licky, up against the San Francisco Celebi. We are up against Celebi is his signature, the team captain, I assume. Uh, Mega Gardevoir, Toxapex, Rotom Heat, Star Raptor, Alola Ninetales, Duraludon, Rabombi, Scrafty, Donphan, and Dusclops. Uh, I mean, you look at a lot of his threats, like Star Raptor, Mega Gardevoir, those things hit like an absolute truck, but we have pretty decent answers for them. I mean, Staraptor does not do anything to Agron, and the Gardevoir needs to hit a Focus Blast against Agron, and still then, we take one and kill it with Heavy Slam, and we got an Alolan Muck, and uh, the Muck set is going to be very interesting, but Threats, Toxapex, it's hard to break, and we have a way of doing that, and Scrafty is also kind of a threat. So, we're going to jump into the team this week. Leading off, we got Sensei Wu the Mian Shao, as usual. Because he's a signature. He's, he's rocking the Payapa Berry with Regenerator, with High Jump Kick, Knock Off, U Turn, and Poison Jab. With this coverage, we hit a lot of things on this team hard. Poison Jab for Mega Guard, Celebi, if we don't U Turn. Uh, yeah, uh, uh what's it called? Alola Ninetales, but I mean, it's, it's so frail. High Jump Kick might just kill it. But, yeah. I mean, high jump kick. What's his answer, really? I guess Toxapex. Yeah, Toxapex. Toxapex is a massive threat for me, Ancho. Like, it, it's not a threat, but, like, it walls it hard. Me and Chow can't break Toxapex. So, that's the one thing kind of stopping me and Chow from running. And, yeah, he has Dusclops, but once we knock it off, Dusclops is not a threat anymore, really. So, we just can't really click high jump kick. Uh, but, yeah. Toxpex is just such a big threat that uh, we got an interesting set this week to help counteract it. But with this uh, with max attack, uh, 216 speed, and 40 in HP, uh, we just barely outrun Celebi and Gardevoir. And we're running the Piapa Berry because I don't want to be banded this week. I feel like we have to switch moves up a lot. Banded really doesn't... I mean, it's Toxpex is there. It, why are we going to be banded for that? I wanted Pyapa Berry because I have a strange feeling he's going to be a Scarf Celebi set. The kind of, you know, pick off Mian Chao. So, in the event he has a Scarf Celebi, we take with the Pyapa Berry, since it uh, reduces super effective psychic moves, we're going to take the psychic and uh, kill it with U turn. Or at least bring it down to a lot to where, I don't know. Something like Muck can come in and just finish it off. Or Agron, yeah. So, that, that's why mianchao has got Pyop Berry this week, is just for that just in case. But up next, we got Mega Agron. The good old Agronix is coming this week, rocking Heavy Slam, Earthquake, Toxic, and Stealth Rocks with 
max HP, max special defense, a careful nature, and eight in defense. Uh, yeah, Agron is really good this matchup. I mean, it shuts down his mega threat of Mega Gardevoir. Alola Ninetales never touches us. It, like, I think we kill it through a veil. It is, it's sad. Uh, we got EQ, because I want to get some chip on Toxpex, and EQ is going to help us get that chip. Toxic is going to be for Rotom. We talked about getting a Stone Edge on it, but Toxic is also going to be for Donphan, especially if he leads it. Because we want Donphan to be Toxic as soon as possible. Because it can be kind of a problem too looking at this team. But we want to deal with it accordingly. We're toxic, so we really can't be taking that heavy slam damage to the end game. But yeah, Agron, very important against Mega Gardevoir. It's going to be the definitive switch in. So hopefully he doesn't land a Focus Blast. If he runs it, he might run Mystical Fire instead. If he's running Focus Blast, uh, that's a problem. But he has to hit it, too, so double-edged sword there. But up next, we are bringing Alolan Muck. Jack Edwards is coming this week. Rocking Infestation, Taunt, Knockoff, Poison Jab with the Black Sludge with 200 HP, 40 attack, 16 defense, max special defense, careful nature. This is how we deal with Tox Effects. This is how I win. It's, it's like from uh, Uncut Gems, if you've ever seen that with Adam Sandler. It's a, uh, I'm going to go on a tangent here. It's not a bad movie. It's just weird that Adam Sandler is the main character. Because when you see Adam Sandler, you're expecting to see all of his goons. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. So I, I have a guilty pleasure for the stupidity of Adam Sandler movies. So it's like seeing him like in a very serious role is like, what? This is uh, strange. Enough of that. But Jack Edwards... <laughs> Uh, we got the Poison Touch ability, Black Sludge. So, with this setup, we win against Toxpex. Now, why do I say that? If we get Stealth Rocks up, which we should with Mega Aggro, and get them up as soon as possible, the chip of, um, Toxpex, we're gonna go into a Lola Muck, click Infestation, and trap it. Because Infestation traps and damages the target for four to five turns and then taunt it so it can't recover which is also big infestation does one eighth of the pokemon's hp which is really nice because that means we're doing like half if he's going to be black sludge so more like a fourth but with knockoff we knock it off basically we're going to get this thing is going to get um get uh toxpex out of the picture hopefully i'm a little skeptical on the set i'm a little worried about it but i have been informed that it should win it 1v1 so i am really hoping it does but yeah a lullamuck this week i am uh he's gonna be big getting rid of toxpex and even then let's say if it doesn't work on toxpex nothing on his team wants to take a knockoff like nothing wants to lose its item and we take it, we take a uh, Hyper Voice from Mega Guard Bar, we take two. So, yeah, it's it's not useless if something happens to Toxpex. I mean, it comes in on Celebi, we threaten the Pursuit Trap, like knock off every single time. Yeah, he really does not have a super good switch into this thing. So, Mach is going to be a very big key player this week. Up next, we got No Name the Nihiligo with the Life Orb item rocking power gem sludge wave dazzling gleam and thunderbolt you got max special attack 232 speed and 24 in hp uh just enough speed to outspeed base 100s like mega gardevoir star raptor celebi and with this coverage we decimate his team nothing takes hits from us even duraludon gets two hit ko'd by power gem from a resisted hit Hiligo is super good. He basically his only counter this if he's a scarf Celebi. But even then, we depending on where we're at, we can take a psychic. Or say a scarf star raptor. But he does not deal with this thing very well. So Toxpex we can play kind of aggressively with. And we it it completely does it comes in, it can get a kill. Like 
Thunderbolt and two Ikea Talks pack, so we still have an answer for that. If all falls through with the Alolan Muck, we have an answer for it. But, Hiligo is very strong this week. It can just run house. Like, we collect Power Gem for free. We really do. Unless he's like Assault Vest Max Special Defense Don fan to counteract this. But even then, we threaten the. Uh, whatchamacallit? We threaten the Grass Knot. Yeah, it's it's not too worrying. But, yeah. Up next, we got Tremaine, the Chandelure with the, Sil or the Choice Scarf with Infiltrator, Fire Blast, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower, and Trick. Max special attack, 232 speed, modest nature, 24 HP. Scarf Chandelure. He does not pass Toxapex. This is why Toxapex is such a problem. Because a lot of it needs to die for a lot of things just to run house. Chandelure is amazing once Toxapex is gone. We just click Shadow Ball. Nothing takes nothing really wants to take Shadow Ball or a Fire Blast. And we have Flamethrower there just so. Uh so we don't have to risk the miss on uh, Fire Blast, and a Flamethrower can just get the kills. And Trick is on there mainly for a last case scenario against Toxapex. If we can't break it, then I'm just going to Trick the Scarf onto it. Like, if all falls through, this is this is our last hope, basically. I mean, thankfully we got a lot of speed on this team, but Sh Scarf Chandelure is going to outspeed everything, barring another Scarfer. So... Hopefully this week uh, we can it can finally put in work. Last few weeks I've used it. It's kind of I've not used it very well. But hopefully this week it can kind of come not come out of nowhere, but do really well. Last but not least, newcomer finally joining us after five weeks. Air balloon, the Rotom fan is coming us with coming with us with the heavy duty boots and levitate ability, rocking air slash volt switch, pain split, defog with. Uh, max HP, 120 defense, 32 special attack, and 108 special defense with a bold nature. Another kind of weird spread. This is our Scrafty counter, because Scrafty is a big problem for this team. If he's a set up Scrafty, then it, it can be an issue. So this is our kind of check to it. Uh, the defense makes sure we, we take plus one knockoffs pretty well. Because uh, D dance and everything. If he's at, if he's adamant, good play by him. But I think he'll he'll probably be jolly. So we we count to jolly more for that. Uh, the air slash is mainly going to be for chipping it down. We thought about running Will O Wisp, but our one thing against Will O Wisp was if Scrafty is shed skin, it derails that entire plan, and he could easily be shed skin. So it, it could be it could be a big problem. We just would rather get that surefire damage on it with Air Slash. And I mean, if he's not adamant, Mian Chao can take a hit from max HP. And we do have Chandelure, which is a Scarfer, which is going to outrun Scrafty. So getting that chip on it, we can go pressure it out with something else. So I'm not too worried. But I, I am a little bit worried. But uh, we'll see. If, if he's a D-Dance Scrafty with uh, Shed Skin, then we got to keep an eye out for that. Volt Switch is just for good momentum. Uh, Paint Split, we want to kind of stay healthy. Staying healthy with this thing is important because even after Scrafty's gone, it still is kind of useful because it kind of... If Agron is low, it kind of forces Star Raptor to run... Uh, uh, if, if he's a Scarf Star Raptor, he can't really break both Chandelure and Rotom Fan at the same time. Because if he clicks Brave Bird, we go into Rotom Fan, and we're Volt Switching. If he clicks Double Edge or uh, Close Combat, I mean, Close Combat, we go into either, but if he clicks Double Edge, then we go into Chandelure because we, we don't even take it. So yeah, and we do have Special Defense invested just to make hits better. But, yeah, this is the team for this week against the San Francisco Celebes. I would like to thank you all for watching. Look out for the battle tomorrow. But above all else, stay cute out there, my comrades.